dear students today we will see how to express the function this function in terms of units of function and hence we can find its laplace transform so first we see how to express this function in terms of unit step function that means using u of t minus a so now this f of t can be written as f of t is equal to f of t is equal to we write the first function f1 plus the difference f2 minus f1 into u of t minus a so this is the way to write the function f of t in terms of unit step function so f of t can be written as f1 plus f2 minus f1 times u of t minus a the reason is u of t minus a is 0 whenever t less than a and it is 1 whenever t greater than 0 so if it is 0 you will find the first function that means if 0 less than or equal to less than a this this is 0 so 0 and anything is 0 therefore you will find f1 if t greater than a then this value will be 1 for t greater than a this is 1 so f1 plus f2 minus f1 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 cancel cancels you will find f2 so this is the way we can express the function in terms of unit step function so this is in case of two functions suppose we have three values of the function for example if we have three values of the function f2 whenever t lies between a and b one interval is 0 to a another interval is a to b suppose you have one more so that is f3 whenever b greater than or equal to t suppose this is the situation then we can write the function f of t as f of t is equal to first function is f1 plus this difference f2 minus f1 f1 into u of t minus a u of t minus a plus the third term is f3 minus f2 into u of t minus b u of t minus b so if we have three functions f1 f2 f3 then we can express the function f of t in terms of unit step function as f of t is equal to f1 plus f2 minus f1 into u of t minus a f3 minus f2 into u of t minus b so this is the way we express the function in terms of unit step function let us uh, consider a problem here the question is express the following function in terms of unit step function and hence find its laplace transform the solution is first we need to express this in terms of unit step function so the procedure to express this in terms of unit step function is f of t is equal to first function that is f1 1 plus f2 minus f1 here f2 is f2 of t it is actually f2 uh, function of t here is t and f1 function of t is 1 here so t minus 1 into u of t minus this one remember that this one so this is the way to express this function in terms of unit step function and hence we need to find its laplace transform so apply laplace transform on both sides so therefore l of f of t will be equal to use the linearity property of l so then we can write the right hand side as l of the first term laplace transform of 1 plus laplace transform of because both are function we don't have constants here so laplace transform of t minus 1 into u of t minus 1 we know the lap we know laplace transform of 1 the laplace transform of 1 is i will write here vkt means we know that laplace transform of 1 is equal to 1 by s 1 by s now what is laplace transform of t minus 1 into u of t minus 1 we write l of t minus 1 into u of t minus 1 is equal to so using second shifting property we can write it as e power e power minus a here it is a is 1 so minus 1 into s e power minus s into f of s 
So using the second shifting property, we can write L of t minus 1 into u of t minus a as e power minus s, a is 1, so therefore it is e power minus s into f of s. So this we can write if we take this t minus a as function of t minus 1. So therefore t minus 1 must be t minus 1 must be function of t minus 1 function of this t minus 1 remember this so f of t minus 1 equal to t minus 1 then only Laplace transform of t minus 1 into u of t minus 1 is e power minus s into f of s so from this we can find f of t to find f of t replace t by t plus 1 wherever t write t plus 1 therefore this becomes f of t and this is t plus 1 minus 1 so plus 1 minus 1 cancels t so f of t minus 1 is t minus 1 so f of t must be equal to t so what is it laplace transform its laplace transform is laplace transform of t laplace transform of t is t power 1 here therefore 1 factorial divided by s power 1 plus 1 s square so this is our f of s so this f of s we need to replace here so therefore laplace transform of t minus 1 into u of t minus 1 is equal to e power minus s e power minus s into f of s what is f of s 1 by s square so now we need to substitute l of 1 here and l of t minus 1 into u of t minus 1 in place of this to get the final answer So therefore, Laplace transform of this function will be L of 1, L of 1 is 1 by S plus Laplace transform of T minus 1 into U of T minus 1 that uh, is we found it here. So E power minus S by S square, E power minus S by S square. So this is the Laplace transform of the function which takes two different values in two different intervals. The next uh, problem is find Laplace transform of the function by expressing it into unit step function. So first we express the given function in terms of unit step function that is as follows. So f of t is equal to first function is f1 what is f1 sin t plus f2 minus f1 cos t minus sin t bracket put the bracket into u of t minus pi by 2 into u of t minus pi by 2. So this is the way to express uh, the given function in terms of unit step function. Now Laplace transform of this function what is L of f of t? So L of f of t is equal to L of sin theta using the linearity property of Laplace transform we can write this L of the next function cos t minus sin t into u of t minus pi by 2. Now we know the Laplace transform of uh, uh, sin t. We know that Laplace transform of sin t is 1 by s square plus 1 square. So the coefficient of t is 1 here. So therefore 1 by s square plus 1 square is 1 and Laplace transform of the second function is second term is using the second shifting property we can write like this cos t minus sin t assuming that this is our f of t minus pi by 2 if you assume that this is f of t minus pi by 2 f of t minus pi by 2 is what this function cos t minus sin t that is the coefficient of u of t minus pi by 2 if you consider this as the coefficient of u of t minus pi by 2 then if you take this as f of t minus pi by 2 then using the second shifting property we can write laplace transform of this entire function as e power minus a is here pi by 2 so pi by 2 s into f of s into f of s now if, when la, f of t minus pi by 2 is cos t minus sin t we can find f of t from this why we need to find f of t from this to find f of s 
so how to find f of t from this function replace t by t plus pi by 2 so then what happens t plus pi by 2 in place of t minus pi by 2 so pi by 2 pi by 2 cancels you will find t therefore you you can get f of t here so f of t is equal to what i write it here so what is f of t f of t after replacing t by t plus pi by 2 in the right hand side you will find cos of t plus pi by 2 minus sin of t plus pi by 2 wherever t we are replacing t plus pi by 2 what is cos of t plus pi by 2 90 pi by 2 means 90 degree 90 plus theta here in place of theta we have t so 90 plus theta means in the second quadrant in the second quadrant cos function is negative minus and the ratio cos changes to sine whenever the angle is 90 degree cos changes to sine so sine of t minus sine t so sine of 90 plus theta or t second quadrant in the second quadrant sine is positive therefore minus remains as it is then the ratio sine changes to cos cos of t so therefore f of t will be equal to minus sine t minus cos t its laplace transform is our f of s correct so what is f of s f of s is the laplace transform of a function f of t so what is this this is equal to minus 1 by s square plus 1 square minus laplace transform of cos t is s by s square plus 1 square because the coefficient of t a is 1 here so 1 so this is our function of s now uh, if we replace f of s here we will obtain the Laplace transform of the second term. So therefore, Laplace transform of cos t minus sin t into u of t minus pi by 2 is equal to e power minus pi by uh, pi s by 2 into f of s. f of s is minus 1 by s square plus 1 minus s by s square plus 1. Now, the last step is we need to substitute uh, you have a Laplace transform of sin t in place of Laplace transform of sin t 1 by s square plus 1 and in place of this you need to substitute e power minus pi s by 2 into minus 1 by s square plus 1 minus s by s square plus 1 to obtain Laplace transform of f of t which is equal to sin t between 0 to pi by 2 cos t whenever t greater than pi by, uh, pi by 2.